We're going to start with today, start with a plan in mind. Before we get started, I want you to imagine something. Imagine that you are a sailor and you're deciding to take a journey in your sailboat. Does your picture look a little something like this that you've imagined? Now, when a sailor decides to take their journey, usually the sailor doesn't just hop in their boat, push it into the water, hike up the sail, and then just kind of kick back with their feet up and just wait for something to happen, do they? Of course not, because they're not going to go anywhere. Sailors have a planned course ahead. Kind of like a map, for instance. Now, just like the sailor, we as writers, we should aim to do the same thing. Kind of draw ourselves a little map for ourselves of what we intend um, so that as we journey through adding lots of details and words to our writing, well, we can stay on track. And what better way to do that than this? Good writers try different organizational structures as a way to plan their writing. I have all of these different types of different graphic organizers that you could use when you are planning your writing too. So that way, just like the sailor, you have a destination that you're trying to reach by using your map to help you get there. Your map is going to be your graphic organizer and your destination, well, that's your writing. So let's take a look at some of these. The first one I have here, this blue one, this is boxes and bullets. Bullets are dots. You might make little dot points where you're going to jot down some of your important information. Or you simply might make boxes like this one here to keep all your important information that you're writing about. You might use something like cause and effect, depending on what type of genre you're writing about, whether it might be narrative, nonfiction, uh, or a persuasive piece. Cause and effect might be really good for a nonfiction piece, so you might want to keep this in mind. You write the cause in here and what its effect was, and you can keep drawing as many boxes with arrows as many causes and effects that you have. Maybe, like our narrative writing that we do, you have a problem and then a solution. So in the first box, you might include what your problem is, followed by in your next box, what the solution is going to be. Perhaps you're going to do some comparing and contrasting, like in a persuasive piece. This one here is what we call a Venn diagram, where we have two circles, and they overlap in the middle. The middle part is where you're going to put all the things that two things that you're comparing have the same. For instance, maybe I'm comparing a circle and a square. I might put in the middle that they're both shapes. That's something that they both have the same. Where a circle is different, I might say it is round. And on this side, I might say a square. Well, it is not round. So that's where I put the differences. My last one I have here is called pros and cons. Pros and cons means pros are good things about something and cons mean what are the bad things about it. On here, I make what looks like a T or a cross and I would write on this one here pros and below it, maybe using some of these bullet points, I would list all the pros, all the good things about it. On this one here, I would write cons and I might do bullet points here too and list all the bad things about it. What I want you to do today is I want you to get a sticky note, kind of like the ones that we have on here, and I want you to pick one of these graphic organizers to use. You're going to draw. I want you to draw the graphic organizer that you've chosen, and you're going to use it to help plan your course, to help map your way in your writing. Okay? So once you've drawn the picture, I want you to use it to structure your story. Maybe you need to write your problem and your solution. Maybe you're going to jot down on the bullet points all the important details. Or maybe you're going to write all the good things and bad things about something that you're researching. 
Either way, I want you to use one of these today to help set up and organize how you're going to write your writing piece. I want you to take a picture of the post-it with your graphic organizer on it. And I want you to post that on Seesaw so I can see how you did it. And I want you to remember that every day, today and every day, as a good writer, good writers use this as a type of way to help them become better writers and to better organize their writing. And I look forward to you using this often.